Hi everyone, my name is Liz Aiken. I live in Gloucester. This is my first semester at Thomas Nelson and I am taking courses in hopes to start a third career as a dental hygienist. What I want to talk to you today is actually about my first career as an animal trainer. I worked at Bush Gardens for 12 years as a animal trainer. I worked with the gray wolves, foxes, a hawk, an owl, a black vulture, and some brown rats. For those of you guys that have been there, we do a predator show, which is about 20 minutes long. During the show, uh, there's actually a lot of public speaking. We talk for about 20 minutes at a time in front of large audiences, up to 600 people. So I wanted to just tell you a funny story about one of my experiences talking to the audience in the show. I read a lot about how everybody was pretty nervous about public speaking, and I hope I'm not stepping on the instructor's toes by telling this story, but I just wanted to give you guys an example of a unsuccessful successful story of speaking in front of a large audience. When we start the show we're talking about how important it is to have predators in the environment and without predators the world would be overrun with pests and diseases which is why we have the rats in our show. So we first start talking about the Black Plague and how the Black Plague um, decimated the human population within a matter of months. We start talking about this fact in a very ominous tone. It's very serious. We're behind the scenes. The audience can't see us. And we're discussing really all that importance of why there are predators. It is supposed to be serious. The trainers would sometimes mess with the person that's narrating the show from behind the scenes, say funny things, tease them and try and make them laugh. One time, as a very seasoned trainer, my teammates made me laugh hysterically during this portion of the show. I got the giggles so badly that the audience from out front was laughing at this person they could not see on a microphone behind stage laughing hysterically. I was laughing so much I had to go out in front of the audience, stop the show, apologize to them while still giggling and they're laughing hysterically at me and tell them I just needed a second to stop laughing, compose myself, and I would restart. Little did I know this was to show that my boss brought a bunch of new animal trainers to to see what the show was like. So all of them are also laughing at me who is being laughed at by 600 people. It was probably a little unprofessional, but it was very fun and funny, and the audience enjoyed the rest of the show, and we kind of built this camaraderie and relationship through my mistake of giggling, and the show was very lighthearted and silly after that. I just wanted to let you guys know that mistakes do happen. I made a lot of public speaking mistakes, some of them silly like that, some of them more serious where the audience did not appreciate my mistake, but they happen. And if you can just realize that they're going to happen, it's not that bad. I survived and went on to speak many more shows without incident. I hope this was a funny anecdote for you. It was funny for me to go down memory lane and think of that show. It's one of my favorite stories to tell and I enjoyed watching some of your videos and I hope you have a great first week of class. Bye everybody!